Hey guys, it's me Khadija, aka Afrikadisiac. So if you guys are new to my channel, if it's your first time here, then please hit that subscribe button so that you can get notified of whenever I upload a new video, which is usually on Sundays. And if you guys are already subscribed, then welcome back to my channel, you guys. So today I am back with, I think, the last part of my top products for high porosity hair series videos. thinking about including a bonus video if you guys want to see that video then please give this video a thumbs up but this is going to be the last part of the series where I talk about products so we're going to be talking about hair oils so there's really two types of hair oils there are sealing oils and penetrating oils sealing oils sit on top of the hair cuticle as where penetrating oils can still enter the hair shop but they also seal because there's no water. When you have high porosity hair, finding an oil can be really hard and it's definitely trial and error. So try some penetrating oils like olive oil or coconut oil and then try some sealing oils such as jojoba or castor oil and see which one works best for your hair. Then of course there's butters which are basically solidified versions of oils. I personally don't use butters because they're too heavy for my fine medium density hair but if you have super thick and high density hair you may find a butter to be more effective at sealing in moisture rather than an oil. This first oil I use as a pre-poo treatment and pre-pooing is basically conditioning your hair before you shampoo it or co-wash whatever your form of cleansing is. So the oil I love to pre-poo with is coconut oil. This is unrefined coconut oil and it is amazing especially for high porosity hair. What makes coconut oil so amazing and so special and different from other oils out there is that it has lauric acid in it and lauric acid is what's going to make your hair feel harder. So that's why I only use this as a pre-poo. So I use it as kind of a strengthening treatment for my hair, protective treatment for my hair that will protect my hair from the shampoo. Oh, Putting this on dry hair, adding a plastic cap and letting it sit for about 30 minutes is going to be amazing for your hair and the longer you let it sit on your hair the more that this coconut oil is going to penetrate your hair shaft into the hair cortex and repair your hair so, so the next oil i use to seal my hair and sealing is basically just sealing in the moisture oils are going to seal no matter if they are classified as penetrating oils or sealant oils because oils are not moisturizers. Oils don't have water, so they could never actually be real moisturizers. My favorite oil that I use to seal, even though it's classified as a penetrating oil, not necessarily a sealing oil, is extra virgin olive oil. I have been using this since 2014, you guys, and it has never ever failed me. Also, I use this to oil my scalp. It's not super thick or heavy. It can get a little bit oily if you use too much of it, but with the right amount, it's perfect. So the next oil is actually an essential oil, and this is rosemary oil. So essential oils will essentially come in these small little bottles. They're not going to look like your coconut oil and your extra olive oil and come in very large bottles because these are very concentrated. So what you want to do with essential oils, add them in with a carrier oil, which would be like olive, coconut. So this is actually my scalp oil mixture it's just extra virgin olive oil and about 20 drops of the rosemary oil sometimes we will have those periods where we're not eating the most healthy or we're stressed out or something and that could really affect our hair growth and slow it down so i like to add rosemary oil just so that when i massage this into my scalp it can stimulate my scalp and i can still get you know a good amount of hair growth castor oil is jamaican black castor oil Jamaican black castor oil and castor oil is known to be great at regrowing your edges and just getting your edges to be fuller. I actually did a castor oil challenge for about a year that I used castor oil to just kind of work on my edges. Just make sure that your like baby hair is okay and your edges are good. So castor oil is going to be great for that. Mm -hmm. 